Hello, Star Wars and Unboxing fans. Welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show. I am your host, Darth Tuba, and I've got boxes to unbox. More boxes than I know what to do with. I, uh, as I mentioned on my last episode, uh, we were doing uh, follow-ups with uh, our trip down to Batu, and uh, there just was a lot of product that all shipped at once, which is always the um, seems to be the case when it comes to uh, Star Wars orders. Back in the day, uh, before Toys R Us closed, basically collecting has its history. You can pretty much clock it down to uh, BT and AT <laughs> before Toys R Us closed and after Toys R Us closed. Before Toys R Us closed, there were toys, especially when there was a movie out, there were Star Wars toys galore, at least since the 90s, you know, from the late 70s into the mid 80s, then there was a break, and from the mid 90s until Toys R Us closed, there were toys to be found everywhere. And uh, especially when there was a big movie release and everything else. People know this. If you're a collector, you know this. Okay, If you're a young collector, yeah, that's how it worked. Um, then Toys R Us closed, in, at least in the United States. And with that came the, the whole um, game shifted. And everything switched to online ordering. Which, not very surprising. I mean, online sales in every other aspect, things like Amazon and, um, and just every store having an online component um yeah it made sense that they were going to it was going to switch up like that so but it was a bit of a boom or a bit of a bust for collectors because the thrill of the hunt uh became kind of obsolete yes there are still toys in target yes there are still toys in walmart yes there are still toys in brick and mortar kind of stores all over the place I'm not saying that it's just that with um you know, with so many product, so much product being released weekly, um, companies like Hasbro, which is what most of this is, um, companies like Hasbro are saying, well, we'll just announce a pre-order. The pre-order goes up. You make your pre-order. <coughs> Excuse me. And it goes out in the mail, sometimes right away, sometimes a week later, sometimes a year later, sometimes more than a year later, which is very frustrating. So, as we were away, I got the notifications on my phone. Oh, this item from Entertainment Earth has shipped. This item from Target has shipped. And I'm like, oh, God, there's going to be a big pile of things. Thankfully, I had a house sitter that, you know, collected our mail and stuff, so that wasn't a problem. But here we are. So, how are we going to do this? All right. Well, we are going to not unbox everything at once, okay? I, I'm going to space it out. Um, so, we're going to start today with six items, all from Entertainment Earth earth now entertainment earth is my my method of choice for ordering um, exclusives mainly because they often have a free shipping um, feature sometimes they have other percentage off um, codes and stuff uh, and they generally uh, package and send they're, they're basically a website for collectors so they don't they tend to be a little bit more careful with the product when it gets released um, I uh, um, I sometimes unbox my figures and sometimes I keep them in the package. So it's nice, you know, assuming that I keep everything in the package, it's nice for entertainment to do that. So why don't we start with this? Now, you'll see that there are boxes behind me. There are boxes way over here to my left, and I'm not going to get to them today. So we'll get to them in another, in a future episode. And so we're going to start right now with, I can never tell. Every time I do it, I kind of shake the box. I'm like, hmm, is it in it? Is it a vintage collection figure? Is it a... Also, I have to keep track of all of these because there's a lot here. Ooh, ooh, this looks like... Oh, no, still just one. Okay. Ooh, okay. We have Clone Wars VC243. Okay, so the Clone Wars, this is um the Mandalorian Super Commando. Okay, so that's an awesome figure. And I'm looking, looking at it. Now, again, these, I do keep uh, Vintage Collection figures in the package. Uh, sidebar, Hasbro has announced that they will continue to sell Vintage Collection figures with the plastic bubble, to the, much to the, rejoice, the rejoicing cheers of many collectors. Um, me, personally, I could have taken it either way. Um, I would, and part of me was kind of hoping that they would take a break from the Vintage Collection. Not that I have a problem with them keeping it going. I'm not that upset about it. I'm not shedding any tears. I'm just saying that 
it would be um, it would be okay with me if they wanted to take a little break from it, maybe put out some more content, let that content flourish, and then put it out. But that's okay. So we have the Clone Wars again, VC two forty three figure package, as I said, Entertainment Earth really does a good job of packing it. I mean, they send it in a, in a single box, which is great. Sometimes I get a little annoyed because I've got to recycle all these boxes. Not that that's that big of a deal, but you know, I do. So, you know, it's a, it's a thing, but there you go. Very good with that. Okay. Let's move on. We have a bigger box here. I'm going to save that one for the end because I'm curious as to why they had a, a bigger box. Most of the, most of them come in these like kind of medium size rectangular boxes that hold that could hold both the black series and a vintage collection figure. Well, looks like this one, we are black series. Let me just make sure we have nothing else. Okay. We have the first brother inquisitor. Okay. Now they have announced that the plastic packaging will only continue with the vintage collection. I do not believe we will have any more plastic with the uh, Black Series figures. But that's okay, because as long as that figure only comes with one accessory, that's really the only reason I don't unbox Black Series, um, is if they have multiple accessories. And even then, if it's a really cool figure and the way, the way they have it displayed or something, I might still keep it boxed. Or I might keep it, I might, I might decide to you know, take it out of the package. So, but I do like this, uh, I like this character. I wonder if we're going to see a little more of him, you know, if Reva's getting, uh, although I do believe, if I'm not mistaken, I think that the fifth brother made an appearance in Rebels, and I don't believe he survived it, <laughs> the end of that series. So, if they are going to have a, I gotta be careful of the, ooh, huh? Oh, that's kind of cool. You you can they they included a a kind of a little jet out so you can actually like hold it a little bit easier as opposed to trying to grab it around the center there. So that is cool. And he had that very interesting way of talking. There he is. I don't want to say it because I don't want to sound like I, I, I know I'll butcher it. So fifth brother. Um, love to see a little more of him. If they have a Reva spinoff, it'd be kind of cool to, uh, to see him kind of reappear. Um, you know, and I said it on past episodes, uh, I, I like the box art. It's definitely an improvement from the old Black Series, which was just basically a black box with a number on the side. And this one's okay. I mean, I don't... I'd rather have the figure loose, honestly. All right, let's move on. Okay. Box number three. Okay, here we go. This one feels lighter. So, we will see what we got. What we got. Disney, by the way, as I mentioned, was uh, an amazing experience, amazing trip. Um, very crowded, but I have figured out ways I've learned in my... Ooh, I'm going to double check. Did we have two here? Did they ship two? I just have to check the box, the uh, packing slip. Nope, it took one. It's a vintage collection figure. And it's Attack of the Clones. Oh, yeah, right. This is um, VC244. This is a new um, Padawan Anakin Skywalker. So, there you go. Um... It's a, you know, again, package comes in great. You know, you can always trust Entertainment Earth. I feel as though something about the way he's positioned in the, in the plastic bubble, in the little, you know, the, this, it's not just the outward bubble. There's also like the inside tray that he rests in. Uh, I feel as though they've kind of have him there and it kind of looks like he's a little bit uncomfortable and his little braid is kind of sticking out. So I'm not a big fan of the way he's aligned there. Now, this is the funny thing. I swore that they made another one of these, but they, now that they're up to 244 and, and, and rising vintage collection figures, it is shocking me, shocking me that they are not really doubling up. I mean, they are to an extent, but you know, I, I don't think so. I mean, I think we have, you know, different versions of it or whatever, but 
There he is, Anakin Skywalker. Does he come with the removable arm? No. This is pre-removable arm. So, there you go. But, you can see there, try to get the glare out. Pretty good face sculpt. Man, some of these face sculpts on the three and three quarter inch, they, you know, not, they are really knocking it out of the park with those. So, fan flippantastic. All right. Got another one here. Oh boy, gonna be a big pile of boxes here. Uh, for those that don't know this, I often will film these back to back. So, you know, I change my shirt just to make it look like. Um, oh, to make it look like I'm. I am uh, doing this different days, but sometimes I'll just do it you know, two or three in a row. Okay, Boba Fett, Tatooine. What to do? Now, this is what a lot of us thought all the figures would be coming. Here's the thing. This is really fun. I mean, I, this to me is a throwback to like mini rigs or some of the, to like the Ewok hang glider. Okay, this is obviously Book of Boba Fett. This is the Tatooine Boba Fett. Okay. Uh, I love how they have the little uh, thing here with the firing backpack, which I think is fantastic. Um, that's a throwback to the old Kenner, um, you know, mail away figure thing. It's great. But I really want to open it. I really want to open it because it just, just so awesome. But here's the problem. Here's what it comes with. It comes with his backpack and his helmet and his rocking, rocket firing um, rocket, right? Comes with a couple of weapons and comes with a removable helmet. But then it comes with two Stormtrooper helmets. So I'm like, okay. Now I have to put this thing on display with those two Stormtrooper helmets and hope that 10 years from now I don't forget that he had two Stormtrooper helmets. 10 years and how many hundreds of more figures? That's where I get a little bit loose, you know, weird about opening up these figures. So uh, I think I'll keep this one packaged for now and I'll think about how I want to do that. It might just come down to a good way to display them or a place to display them. We'll see. So, but I love the picture, picture art. All right. It is a little bit, I mean, look, when we bought our, our mini rigs and our smaller play sets, we got them in a box with a photo. So this is kind of like that. So I don't really mind it. All right, two more on this episode. Two more. Feels kind of heavy. Could be Black Series. Black Series. Ooh. This is one of those special ones. This is Sergeant Creel. It's a, it looks like it's a, a comic book kind of version. I have a few more of these I've kept in the box only because um, part of the reason, I mean, look, there is, does this give any, oh, here we go. Sergeant Creel, formerly undercover agent 5241, serves as a leader of an elite group of stormtroopers, Task Force 99, better known as Scar Squadron, under the direct command of Darth Vader. So, you know, it's a standard trooper. It's got a different pauldron shoulder pauldron okay um it comes in a kind of a cool book format i have a feeling that if they do any more like this for black series they're going to do this with the without the plastic which i guess is okay it's a kind of a nice way you can display it like this like a bookcase style you can display it like this with the art you can open it up and just kind of line them up i think they, they had like jackson some of the crimson empire characters that kind of thing so it's nice I don't know if I'm going to take it out of this, um, namely because I have a ton of Stormtroopers already loose, so I don't know, know if I need another one. And if I do decide at some point to um, resell this, okay, I would love it to be uh, in good shape. Now, I'm not a scalper, okay? I don't buy these figures with the purposes of reselling them. I buy them for the purposes of collecting them, but every so often I have to, like, like I just did in a previous episode that you might have just seen, unload some of the figures and some of the collection to make room for new things. You know, there's only a finite amount of room. There's not much you can do. I'm not going to buy storage space to put all these things in storage. That's because I'm not ever going to be... I, have, I live in a house. I'm not going to upgrade to a bigger house. In fact, more likely, we'll go the other way. I'll be downsizing to a smaller place. So, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of getting ahead of that. But this is really nice. And um, I do like the book-style uh, displayability of that. Okay. Last one. 
a little bit bigger. Not quite sure why. I wonder if it's just a matter of them running out of medium-sized boxes. It doesn't feel excessively heavy, or maybe it's something different. Okay. I think it's the fact... I was expecting some, like, really cool thing. Nope! It's just that they ran out of mini medium boxes. So now they save us a large box with a Gaming Greats... I think it's Gaming Greats. Yes. Gaming Greats VC-236 Arc Trooper Lambent Seeker. Arc Trooper Lambent Seeker. Again, um, you know, the, the art, the paint is great. It's another arc, it's another trooper. Um, some people love troopers. Some people hate having constant new troopers. I get it. Hasbro is, you know, trying to make money on the brand without doing, having to put too much emphasis on making new sculpts and having to do new tooling. So they are able, with clone troopers and storm troopers, you can do all sorts of things with just different paint apps and different combinations of things. I get it. I understand the business model. Um, I appreciate the vintage carding. I appreciate the art. I appreciate, again, thank you, Entertainment Earth. Nice, good card. Um, did I need another Arc Trooper? I wouldn't say definitively, yes, but, you know, it's, it's okay. So, there you go. So, we have three, three vintage collection figures. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I think I'll have to do a separate picture. One, uh, one gaming, or not gaming race, one, uh, comic battle pack, one, uh, Obi-Wan figure, and one, I guess, deluxe figure. Okay, so that will do it for this first episode. I know I just released a whole mega unboxing of a bunch of other things while well, I did that, not realizing what it was almost like the universe was saying, you know, oh, you think that's a mega unboxing? Hold my blue milk. <laughs> and then this came. Because this doesn't even include all the items in the other room that are from Galaxy's Edge, which we have to oh, unbox too. So, lots of stuff to get to. So we're going to work on this. We're going to continue pushing forward with it. I'm not going to call this any kind of mega unboxing. It's just a we're going to just move it along in spurts, okay? But really, really cool, great figures, great add additions to the collection. That'll do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter at DarthTuba. Leave comments, folks. Spread the word about the channel. We are growing little at a time, person by person. I literally got two new subscribers from just talking to them in uh out, out of Star Wars situations. We were in a different particular situation and I mentioned that I have a channel. Like, oh, I just subscribed. I'm like, oh, thank you. So that's awesome. But leave comments, ask questions. Uh, I would love to uh, engage a little bit more in the online community. Um, you know, just be cordial and respectful and we're good to go. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, new episodes drop Wednesdays and Sundays. So until next time, may the Force and the toys be with you.